hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be preparing pumpkin leaves guys if you want to see how i prepare this delicious looking pot of pumpkin leaves <laughs> please keep watching so guys for the ingredients of course you know it's a very simple recipe so the ingredients are very minimal so i'm here i have my maggi cube okay and i have my scotch bonnet for some heat if you do not like pepper you can skip this it's optional and here i have my white onions you can use red onions if you want and here i have my crayfish and some dry cut fish fillet you guys already know that i'm in love with this uh, 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 fish yeah and to the star of our dish so guys this is the pumpkin leaves you can see how beautiful that looks right and it's like this so i'm just going to remove the outer cover of the stem the, i'm going to show you how to do it okay so this is how much I have at home so guys let's get into the video proper guys the first thing you want to do with your pumpkin leaf is you know see some parts are harder to cut while some parts are softer look for the softest part you can see how easy it was for me to you see it's here is soft and here is really hard okay it's not even cutting into two so this is going to the bean and then just take out the leaves i don't like a lot of leaves in my pumpkin soup Pump yeah so when you have what you want what you want to do is you have to peel out the outer layer like so if you do not do it properly your soup will be your vegetable will be hard because this terms or outer layer makes your the pumpkin leaves harder okay so try as much as possible to remove everything that you can't so, guys on this burner i'm going to uh, boil my pepper and my dry cut fish fillet because we are frying the pumpkin leaves and I want I want it as traditional as possible I want it very very traditional okay so we're just gonna put all of that in and then our dry cut fish fillet because we want to boil it to make it softer but if you're using a different method okay if you're using the peanut butter method all the melon seed method that's a goosey you can just boil this when you're boiling the the a goosey but i'm not going to do any of that that's why i'm doing it separately let this boil for at least five minutes okay and guys while you're chopping your vegetables please put some uh water uh in a pot and Put it on the fire because we're going to boil this, okay? Just to save time. Guys, when your water has come to a boil, please add in some salt and then add in your vegetables. You want to cook your vegetables for at least six minutes. And after which you're going to wash and strain. Guys, for my onions, I'm going to chop them in tiny little little sizes. Uh, uh, I don't want the onions to overshadow my vegetable, okay? Guys, in my little mortar, <laughs> I told you guys I want it as traditional as possible. I'm just going to put in some. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm going to put in the hot pepper that uh, the pepper that I boiled, okay? Because we want to pound this pepper. Okay. 
okay so here is the pepper and i'm just going to put in some maggi as well you want to pound the pepper with maggi and salt six minutes is over and our vegetables are ready please don't overcook them because you don't want it soft okay so that's why i said six minutes that six minutes for me it's nothing more and nothing less so i set a timer for it guys uh after you've properly washed your vegetables we want to squeeze out the excess water of us on it but you shouldn't squeeze it too much okay you don't want it too dry like this is enough for me so just take out or squeeze out the excess water so guys the first thing you want to do is add in some red oil into your pan you know, remember I told you guys that we're using red oil for this recipe so just adding depending on how much you like uh how much oil you like in your food if you like little just add less okay guys so now that the oil is uh hot i'm just going to put in some onion some chopped onion you want to fry this for at least a one minute 30 seconds or at most two minutes okay and guys i'm just going to put in my crayfish and fry for not less than 30 seconds you know if you fry your crayfish for too long it's going to be bitter so you want to fry it for as less time as possible and guys now i'm just going to put in my dry cut fish fillet the one that we boiled okay and it I'm not going to fry this for long. It's going to actually fry with the vegetables. But first, just make sure that it soaks the oil, <laughs> okay? And the crayfish and onions as well. Then your your pepper, maggi, and your salt. So now let's start adding our vegetables. The only thing that makes me sad is just the fact that I'm not able to enjoy this beautiful recipe with the person I love most in the world, that's my mother. I wish that I could enjoy this with her. Unfortunately, I can't, but then that's okay, right? I'm still happy that this can remind me of her. I'm so happy about that. So just put in your vegetables and turn. You want to, yeah, or marry the, the spices, that's the pepper, the salt, the maggi, and the fish and crayfish. So guys, you can see how beautiful this turned out, right? I'm happy that you enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed it as much as I did, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Become part of this wonderful, beautiful, amazing family. And let's go on this journey together. Let's be on this journey together. Let's grow this journey together. So guys, this is going to be the end. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.